Let me just preface the speech to say that Kels and Tim, in my opinion, don't need a speech justifying their love or the inevitability that they would be together. It's just obvious. But sure, since you asked, I'll tell you why I'm so in love being a sister to my sissy and why I love this man that's now her husband. She turned out to be someone I admire and look up to, not someone I necessarily needed to protect. That lady is going to do exactly what she wants to do and feel exactly how she wants to feel and achieve anything that she wants to achieve. She's brilliant. She is a native Floridian who has survived multiple Boston winters and Florida summers. She is indestructible. But we all, even Kelsey, are human. And we all need connection and touch and love. And in walks Tim. Tim's pretty much the fourth Irwin brother. Uh, we're only a couple month, months apart, so growing up we did everything together. Eventually we both grew up. Tim made the smart move to move to Boston. What better place for an Irish kid who loves beer and fighting? <laughs> but on a serious note, how cool is that, that one of my college best friends is also one of Tim's grooms. And, you know, the saying goes, you can't choose your family, so to me, the fact that my best friends are also choosing Tim, and it reaffirms to me that this kid I've known my whole life is more than just my cousin. He's one of the most loyal people I've ever met. He's my daughter Keegan's favorite person, and it's an honor to stand up here today as his best man. I know you probably hear this at a lot of weddings, and I hope for the sake of our planet, it's true at all of them. I just know it's true here. I have never met a duo more inevitably or obviously meant to be together than Kelsey and Tim. I'm sure my sister has inspired many people in this room, and I have no doubt that Tim has done the same. But for Kelsey to find someone that can do that same for her, this powerful woman I admire so much, and make her laugh. Enjoy being silly, take it easy, all at the same time. I have no words for that.